I'm just out here doing my hood struts because uh, these things were getting pretty weak. And these were like 20 bucks for the pair. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal. As you can see, I changed my name. Uh, you know, I had my YouTube account since, what, 2006? I had that same stupid name that was misspelled. So I got rid of that. And I'm gonna expand, I'm gonna do more, maybe, you know, stereos and old electronics like CB radios and crap like that. You know, just classic junk. Kinda like this 20 year old thing. It's not quite junk, it could have been, if I didn't get a hold of it. Looks like they use some anti-seize or some uh, thread compound of some sort. I'm not going to do that because uh, it's a damn hood strut. Who cares? You know, it's not like you know something important like a one U Z F E. Wow, these things work good. I only need one of them. Sweet, raises by itself. I didn't realize it would do that. Yeah, the other day I was working on this thing and the wind knocked this hood over and it slammed like you wouldn't believe and I don't know, hopefully it didn't mess up the fitment. Yeah, these things are powerful. Wow, you actually gotta pull that down pretty hard. You could use these for a Lambo door. Huh, that's different. Maybe they gotta be broke in or something. That's nice. <laughs> wow, when, you, when you've had a car with a prop rod for 14 years, this is actually pretty nice. Yeah, these are basically the same struts I bet they use for the rear gates, so they're pretty strong. Yeah, I got to pull on that pretty good. Alright, I'm going to do this a few hundred more times and uh, be back in a second. Put a tire plug in my spare because I had to use my spare and then my spare started going flat. And this thing has mold and corrosion on it from a uh, leaking trunk but I plan on getting different wheels anyways eventually. There's some corrosion on there. The other ones don't look too bad. The center cap looks kind of messed up on this one. Got some sort of, I guess the clear coat on it peeling off. Maybe I can take it off with something. Yeah, I got a leak somewhere in this trunk. It's probably something to do with this. But I'll save that job for spring. Us people down south don't really like working on cars in the winter time. It's too cold for us. Not today though, it's 50. This full size spare is pretty heavy. It's kind of weird having a car with a full size spare. I don't know how much it weighs, but I prefer a donut for a spare, really, just for weight. I'm gonna start doing a little more of this YouTube stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This thing only threads so far, so I gotta find something to space it out. time. Oh, wait. I think I figured it out. No, wait. No, I didn't. Okay, I got this thing spacing out this thing right here. And our cool little washer thing I stuck in there at work. little spacer. It's, like, it's rubber, so it helps it flex a little bit. So, uh, this thing needs to be secure in here, the way I drive. Man, if I didn't have to drive, use my car for my job, I, I wouldn't even keep the spare in here. It's too heavy. Huh. Some kind of vent. Right here. Some kind of random plug right here as well. No idea what the fuck that would be for. Hmm. Somebody knows about that. 
It's been new. Oh, cool, what the fuck is that? Oh, wow. I know what this is for. It's for the antenna. Some of these cars had a regular antenna that stuck out of the side. This one has one that's built into the back window because it doesn't have an antenna except for the cell phone antenna from 98. But yeah, I think the darker lines, I don't know if you can see it, but those darker lines up here are the antenna. Pretty damn sure. I think one's for AM, one's for FM. There's two of them up here towards the top. I might be wrong. Pretty sure I'm right. That's cool though. Because that antenna doesn't work worth crap, so maybe that's exactly what this is for right here. Huh, pretty cool. Huh. There we go. And to get a jack to stay in its mount, you expand it a little bit. So that way it's secure, not moving around while you're doing crazy stunts in your car. Huh. I wonder if these wrenches are any better than the, my cheap ones. Nope. They're crap. Well, I can't tell because it's hardware on this. It's probably. Oh, wait, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, it's. <laughs> for 1998. It's 1998 medals and that. I think these are like craftsmen's or something. Who knows? Not gonna be fixing a lot with this kit. Wow, cool light. And this sticks in here like a like a video game cartridge or something, like a tape, VHS tape. It's clicked in there. Must be a cover. Pulled open. Oh! That opened the gas tank the gas thing. <laughs> Why? Okay. Hmm. It's all kinds of weird things even just at the back of the car. And it just velcros on to anywhere. Is that carpet? Well, I don't understand. I guess it's a thing in case the mechanism up front breaks or something. So you're not stranded. Okay. Alright, enough of this. We're good. And yeah, these hood struts work so good I feel like I'm gonna break it pulling it down. So yeah, this thing has a cooling air duct for the battery. It's literally an air duct that goes through there. Comes out there. And comes out right through there. Down through the battery. It's perfect. It's hot down here.